This is gonna be a fun one. I can feel it. All the keyboard warriors are gonna be coming out and they're gonna be either attacking or agreeing or encouraging insightful conversation. Let's do that. Woo! Mac versus PC. This is not what this video is about. So before everybody starts to jump off their chairs and start to defend one camp or the other, make sure to watch this video first. Instead, I wanted to explore all the hype surrounding Final Cut and using that to you, you edit your videos with an Apple product uh, and compare the workflow and render times versus my maxed out, extremely powerful workstation PC using Adobe Premiere. Now this was all stirred up by Linus and his initial video to um, test out the possibilities of 4K video editing on an Ultrabook, which then proved to be, you know, it had some challenges, but it's still a possibility. But then that video was challenged by Jonathan from TLD explaining his workflow in Final Cut using a, an extremely underpowered 12 inch MacBook. Uh, and so those results in Final Cut that, that Jonathan revealed really spiraled out my curiosity for Final Cut. And so I went out and bought a MacBook Pro. So the one I picked up was the Retina 15 inch MacBook Pro, the 2.5 gigahertz edition. So it comes with a dedicated graphics card, the AMD R9 M370X, 16 gigabytes of uh, system memory and a 512 gigabyte PCI SSD. And it all comes with a fairly compact package. I was incredibly surprised at how light and just well built the machine was compared to my previous sort of workstation mobile uh, notebook, the Eurocom M5 Pro. Now to start things off, I totally understand the arguments from both sides. The PC Master Race claims the value per hardware and per dollar and per performance is so much better, especially if you build your own. Uh, it's all modular, it's customizable, you can do things with it. While on the Apple side of argument, one dominant feature that really arises and that's optimization. And that optimization is what got me so excited about testing a Mac for video editing, despite it being an incredibly expensive machine. I wanted to see what type of benefits you could get with Final Cut, especially when you're talking about a software that's optimized by Apple, working with uh, hardware that's been optimized by Apple as well to create this cohesion that me as a PC user can only wish for, for my main workstation PC. You okay? You okay? And to bring this comparison onto a level playing field for video editing on the go, I'll also be including results from my mobile workstation PC, the Eurocom M5 Pro, which is maxed out to the teeth and is so much more powerful than the MacBook, but does it matter? Okay, fine, enough about all that chatter. Let's talk render times. So here's a three minute 4K project inside Final Cut. When a timeline is idle, Final Cut will render that stuff in the background as you proceed with the edit. So giving you absolutely smooth real time scrubbing without lag or dropped frames. And it's a fantastic feature that I do sincerely miss with Adobe Premiere. And the final render time with color correction on this project is just two minutes and 15 seconds. When we bring the exact same sequence into Premiere, the MacBook Pro struggles with an extremely lengthy render time of almost 22 minutes, while the M5 Pro render is much faster, almost half the time in just under 11 minutes, all thanks to the more powerful Nvidia GPU. And bringing out the big guns, my workstation PC just eats through the render time with seven minutes and 11 seconds for the final export. And so as you can see, Final Cut is so much faster in exporting that uh, little project versus Adobe Premiere, even much faster in almost a factor of 3x versus my workstation PC. But how about other elements that we as video editors require to do like stabilization and camera tracking. So we tested stabilization effect in Final Cut that is complete in 42 seconds versus six minutes and 35 seconds in Premiere for the exact same clip using Warp Stabilizer on the MacBook Pro. The workstation PC finishes the stabilization in just under six minutes and surprisingly, the more powerful M5 Pro hardware wise struggles with a lengthy stabilization of eight minutes and 26 seconds, which is much slower than the MacBook Pro with Premiere. Jumping into After Effects, I use track camera function constantly to create this motion text. And here the analysis on the MacBook Pro is complete and almost at the same time as the workstation PC, 
but takes a few more seconds to complete on the M5 Pro. Now my workflow with Final Cut is almost the same as with Premiere, but scrubbing and playback is so much smoother with Final Cut, it makes an obvious choice for video editing on location. Now I gotta say my expectations with Final Cut continue to grow as I start to work on an actual review project inside Final Cut, which was 10 minutes in length, and the export time was just over seven minutes, which would normally take up to uh, 20 minutes or over on my workstation PC. And this video is really not meant to, you know, spur that argument and debate of PC versus Mac and what is better, but instead potentially highlight the improvements that are needed on the Adobe side of things to improve things like Quick Sync or enable Quick Sync so that you can have rendering things in the background as you work or other things that help with driver or hardware or software implementation so that cohesion of software and hardware is much better than before. Now, of course, render times is not everything when it comes to video editing, and I am still a thousand percent more comfortable working with Adobe Premiere than Final Cut, but I'm slowly starting to catch up to Final Cut and getting more comfortable with that type of workflow because again, the render times are just so much faster. I can export and uh, scrub in real time with 4K video without any hiccup, whereas it would slag and stutter even on my workstation PC. Sucks. And so that is it for this video. I hope it was insightful for video editors or potentially uh, users who are looking to see what the performance difference would be, you know, PC versus Mac and Premiere and Final Cut versus Adobe Premiere on the MacBook Pro versus a, an extremely powerful sort of gaming or workstation PC in my case. But I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give this one a like. And if you wanna see more comparison and tests done in the future, make sure to let us know with the comments down below. So that would be it for this one. Make sure to subscribe for more similar content and we'll see you in the next video.